it is Rachel from KitchenCourses.com and today I thought that I would share with you something a little bit different. So I know that I'm most of the time just sort of behind the screen and uh, typing, typing up most of the things that I share with you instead of really being in front of the camera. I'm not all that comfortable in front of the camera, um, but I thought that it would be important for me to sort of share with you a little bit about myself because I don't really go into that all that much. Um, so a little bit about me, I guess. Um, I live in the Seattle area in Washington and I'm 25. Yes, I know that sounds super young or maybe old, I don't know. Um, and I'm married, I've been married for two years and I live with my husband, like I said, in the Seattle area. So, um, lived in this house, this condo that we're in right now, for a little under a year, so around um, nine months or so. And one of my favorite things about this house is the kitchen. It's like to die for. It's my dream kitchen. I love it. Um, it has like everything that I wanted. <laughs> it's like, it's quite the upgrade from all the um, apartment kitchens that I've, that I've lived in since moving out of my parents' house. Um, so that's a little bit about where I live. Um, my background, my sort of history, um, I'm, st I'm from the Seattle area, but not exactly where I'm living right now. Um, just about an hour and a half away from where I am now. Uh, and I grew up there, it's a Navy town, um, so I'm no stranger to like people coming in and out of my life a lot and um, you know filtering through friends and, and things. It was pretty common growing up. Uh, after high school, I moved out, went to college, which was still not all that far away from home, um, only about three hours away up north in uh, Bellingham, Washington, at Western Washington University. And there, I kind of just uh, did what every, every kid does, um, basically got a degree, because I was supposed to get a degree um, in sociology, and I really actually chose sociology as as my um, degree because it was one of the very few things that interested me when I was there and that sounds really kind of sad and pathetic but it's it's completely true um, I took a whole bunch of classes my first two years and the only thing that I felt compelled to do was take the take a degree like graduate with a degree um, in a subject that didn't drive me like incredibly insane and something that was like half interesting. So I went through that degree and I enjoyed it. I learned so much. I really, really ended up liking that path that I took. Um, and so I got that in March of 2008 and immediately um, moved to where my boyfriend was at the time. He's now my husband uh, and um, we're actually still in that area, in this area. Uh, and so I looked for a few months and finally landed a job, the first job that I could find. If you remember, that was probably, um, that was one of like, that was when the whole like job market was really, really starting to tank. And so I was really nervous that I wouldn't find anything. So I took the first job that was offered to me and that was only, that was still, um, like three or four months after I graduated so it wasn't really even like right out the gate like I looked for quite a while um, so I found this job I landed this job and I worked in market research and I was a research analyst for a global company and um, right after I got hired there was a hiring freeze and that was really tough because I was um, on the bottom I was this research analyst for this company on sort of the bottom rung of the totem pole for about two and a half years and things didn't really progress and it wasn't necessarily that I that I was upset that they didn't progress but it helped me realize that it wasn't the right job for me um, and I think that if I had progressed there that I probably would have stayed longer than I did but um, at the end of 2010 I decided that it wasn't a right fit um, decided that my heart wasn't in it. I didn't care. I didn't care about the job. I didn't care about the big companies that I was helping. I didn't care about giving Microsoft or, you know, huge companies like that more money. I didn't care. 
I just didn't care and um, and it wasn't really satisfying me in like in any emotional or spiritual way it stressed me out I was always cranky and tired and frustrated and I took it out on a lot of my family and that's a crappy thing to do and to say it now it makes me feel really terrible um, but anyways uh, at the end of 2010 I well let me preface that by saying in it was the beginning of 2010 I said to myself if things don't get better if, if you don't feel any better about the situation that you're in um, you're gonna quit at the end of the year no matter what no matter if anything else is lined up you're leaving immediately and so I spent the whole year kind of tossing with that idea and then finally um, at the I want to say the beginning of December of that year I, I started reevaluating seriously um, after complaining all year about the job I just hated um, I finally just said you know enough's enough I didn't have anything lined up and I quit put my t put my two actually it was like three weeks notice in and kind of slipped out the back door I left at my last day was the 31st and I was the only one in the office which is kind of sad because I, I felt the entire time that I was there completely undervalued and un underappreciated and um, there was a lot of reasons why I left but uh, that was one of them and um, anyway I quit and last year 2011 is when I started this site I kind of went through this whole phase of like trying to figure out who I was what I wanted to do um, and here I am. <laughs> I started KitchenCourses.com. Um, I started working on it in March of 2011, and the site actually launched on September. I want to say September 1st, 2011. So it's it took me a while to really get a, a grasp of what things, how things worked, what I was trying to do, what my end goals were, all of that. So here I am now. The site has been up since September. So what's that? Maybe six or seven months um, and yeah so here I am I found that um, it was better for me to put my effort into something that I really cared about and something that I was really passionate about and in the time that I've been doing this I've I realized not only that I'm pretty decent at the technical stuff that I, I still need help from my husband sometimes because that's really like his forte he's really good at that um, but I've learned a lot along the way and um, I just, I've learned so much about um, cooking and how much I want to share my passion for it with other people, with you, hopefully. Um, and just, I want people to feel like they're in control of what they're eating and that it doesn't have to be something that's so foreign. Like cooking, yeah, you can make, cooking can be really, really complicated and stressful if, if you think about it that way. Um, but it really, to me, is one of those simple pleasures in life. And I, I don't want to seem like I'm not compassionate, but I don't really understand when people say that cooking is really difficult and that they don't um, make time for it. Because it's, it's one of those few things that you have complete control over, what you like surround yourself with and what you put in your body and what, how your body reacts to it. Um, so anyway, I wanted to just kind of share a little bit of my background because I realized that in six or seven months of doing this that I haven't really ever said, hi, this is who I am. Um, and so this is who I am. This is, that's my background. Um, and I just, I hope that I kind of keep on keeping on with, with doing this and, um, hopefully hear more from you guys and, uh, get to know some of your interests, what you like about cooking and, all of that. And one more thing. Um, so in this process of writing more about cooking and writing about food, I've sort of realized one more huge thing about myself, and that is um, how much I really am interested in what food does for us, what food does for our bodies, and how, how we feel, and um, how it's just sort of like this one part of kind of like our, our overall well-being and that we have complete control over it. Um, and so I've been looking into starting a health coaching certification program, which I'm like crazy excited about, but also scared because it's a new step. It's a new venture. 
Um, so anyway, that's kind of maybe on the docket for the next few months, something that, I, that I'm looking into and considering doing. Um, but I just wanted to say hi. I wanted to kind of introduce myself, I guess, um, and just, I don't know, let you know who I am, let you know a little bit about me. So yeah, um, hi. If you wanna if you wanna chat with me, you're welcome to send me emails. They have a contact form on the site, and of course I want to hear from you in the comments whenever I'm blogging and on Twitter and on Facebook and all of that. So uh, yeah, I hope you have a good day, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.